Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Google I.O. session of Coral, expanding the Edge AI landscape. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Nguyen, Program Manager in the Coral team at Google. In this session, I will give you an update on Coral, a platform of building on-device AI applications. I will cover the following topics. For many of you new to Coral, I will first briefly explain what a Coral is and what a Coral can do. I will also show you a few examples of what developers have done with Coral. Next, I will summarize what other Coral products have been released since last I.O. Finally, I will share with you what's new in Coral coming up this year. So let's get started. At the 2019 Google I.O., we introduced Coral to developers around the world. Coral is a platform to develop AI applications at the edge with the capability of performing machine learning inferencing right on the device by a unique hardware called Edge TPU, which is a tiny chip that can operate at 4 trillion operations per second in neural networking processing. Coral is a suite of hardware that integrates with Edge TPU plus software and machine learning models that enable you to design new products that bring AI capabilities to the edge. The Coral hardware released at the last I.O. include the Coral DevBot, USB accelerator, micro PCI module, a camera, and an environmental sensor board. Here's the Coral dev board and the USB module. Look at how small they are. Yet they have the Edge TPU built right in on the device. So you can run machine learning models right on the device without the need to connect it to the cloud. Along with these hardware products, Coral also provides the Mendel Linux operating system and the native support to TensorFlow Lite-based machine learning models. Together, these hardware and the software give you an easy to use, yet a very powerful tool to develop innovative AI solutions. So you may wonder, what exactly can Coral do? Well, let me show you some of the typical AI vision applications to see Coral in action. Here's an example of a machine learning model performing object detection on Coral hardware. You can see that the application is able to detect a large number of automobiles on the highway in a live video. Notice how fast the detection is taking place shown by the 75 frame per second refreshing rate at the lower left corner of the video. This demonstrates the high performance capability of the Coral hardware to perform machine learning acceleration right on the device. Here's another example of machine learning inferencing acceleration by Coral. In addition to object detection, the machine learning model here is also performing object classification. Notice that different objects such as cars, buses, traffic lights, and pedestrians are being identified also at a very high frame rate on a live video. This demonstrates, again, the high performance power of on-device AI that the Coral hardware is able to do. Here's an example of a different machine learning model running on Coral hardware, the body pics model that perform body part segmentation. Notice that people's images have been anonymized as the identities of people are removed this is a great example of using Coral for AI applications in a privacy-preserving manner. For example, when the application needs to track people's movement in public, such capabilities provide you with huge opportunities in developing many unique applications for using AI while preserving privacy. Here's an example of a body part segmentation machine learning model with bounding boxes and skeletons. Using Coral, you will be able to identify people's gesture right on the device at the edge without the need to send any data to the server. The application possibilities are enormous, as you can use this capability to develop automatic responses based on the body gesture of customers. Here is the PauseNet model running on Coral that detects human figures in images and videos, and the application can determine which part of the human body is in an image, such as someone's arm or leg. This technique can be used to develop many interactive services that simulate or react to customers' body movements. And it has a wider application potential, such as in augmented reality, animation, fitness coaching, and more. Here's an example of using the MediaPipe model to perform real-time facial detection. You can see again that it is done in a privacy-preserving manner without knowing the person's identity, but only based on the shape of the facial expression. Since Coral's initial release two years ago, it has inspired a huge wave of innovations using AI at the edge. We have seen all kinds of innovative new products and services integrating Coral from thousands of companies of all sizes. Here's just a small sample of these companies that have been using Coral. 
we applaud them for blazing the trail of innovation. Now let's take a quick look at a few examples from these companies in building on-device AI to offer better business solutions and customer services. Care.ai specializes in building self-aware environments for healthcare facilities. They use the Coral Accelerate module, build their AI sensors and cameras that are installed in healthcare facilities, and use the machine learning model to monitor the patient's movements. And if the sensors detect certain movements, such as patients falling or lack of movement, they will trigger alerts so medical staff can respond quickly to save lives. With Coral on device AI, no sensitive data leaves these devices, only the critical alerts do. Therefore, keeping the patient privacy intact while improving care. This is a great example of innovative use of AI at the edge. Another innovative application of AI at the edge is to use machine learning models to analyze water usage in a smart city use case. Olia built a smart sensor for water meters by using Coral USB accelerator module to run machine learning models right on the device at the remote installation locations to provide independent checks for water meters accuracy. This is another great example of deploying AI at the edge without connecting to the cloud. Another very cool application using AI at the edge, surprisingly, came from the food service industry. Hamburghini, the fastest growing restaurant chain in Saudi Arabia, developed this innovative AI cooking system using Coral. It uses a machine learning model to track each hamburger's cooking time and the temperature, and it provides cookers the precise time to flip the hamburger patties. The bottom right image shows the system also tracks the precise cooking time of French fries. This AI system has dramatically improved the quality of the food served at Hamburghini's restaurants. This is such a great example of deploying AI solutions at the edge. Now let me give you an update about the new products Coral has released since last I.O. The first new Coral hardware we released after last I.O. are the two M.2 modules, each with the Edge TPU on board, they provide great flexibility for developers to simply plug them into a Linux or Windows host or a single board computer that has a M.2 slot to easily add AI capabilities to existing systems. Early this year, we also released a new M.2 module with two Edge TPUs on the same board for customers who need more machine learning acceleration power. These Coral M.2 modules have enabled many developers to design new products to bring machine learning power to more systems. Here's one example. Aftel has developed this product that contains 12 Coral M.2 modules, bringing 48 trillion operations per second machine learning acceleration power to any host with a suitable interface connection. Another exciting new product we released over the past year is the Coral Accelerator module. This is a chip module that packages the Edge TPU in a surface mount chip. It's low cost and it offers the same machine learning performance as the other Coral products. This accelerator module brings more design flexibilities to our customers who need to design their own host boards with the Edge TPU as an integral part embedded in their products. Here's an example of one of the many developers using Coral Accelerator module developing their new AI-capable products. This is a circuit board of a smart camera from Cyanide. And as you can see, it has the Coral Accelerator module built in right on the board. And it's capable of running machine learning models right on the camera. Here's a smart camera from Gumsticks, a company that offers many such devices for building IoT projects and applications. They combine the Coral Accelerator module with the Raspberry Pi CM4 module to make a new smart camera. Another new product we launched recently is the Coral DevBot Mini. Here is the product. Similar to the Coral DevBot, this product is a full-featured single-board computer with all computer components networking options, and a Coral Accelerator module built in. Compared to the Coral DevBot, this one is smaller, lighter, and it consumes less power, yet it offers the same machine learning acceleration performance. This product can be used in both prototyping and in large-scale deployment embedded inside other products. We have published the datasheet and the PCB schematics of the DevBot Mini to make this as a reference design of how to integrate the Coral Accelerator module on custom host boards, so developers and the businesses can simply use the reference to make their own host boards that integrate the Coral Accelerator module. On the software side in the Coral platform, there also have been many updates released since last I.O. 
First, we have expanded our pre-compiled machine learning models from the initial two models to the current list of 25 pre-compiled and ready-to-use machine learning models. We have also updated the Edge TPU runtime over the past two years. And now the runtime is at version 13. And in addition to the Mendel Linux, it now also supports macOS and Windows. On the tool side, we have continued updates throughout this period as well, including the compiler updates and more machine learning models support. Finally, we have also released several other libraries, including the Environmental Board API, making it easier for developers to use that sensor board, and a model partitioning tool for breaking large models into smaller ones. Our documentation has also been updated continuously as well, including many data sheets and schematics that have been published on our website. Now let me share with you what's new and exciting with Coral coming up this year. First, we just launched our Coral Partnership Program to help expand the on-device AI ecosystem by promoting other companies who are building AI solutions using Coral. Both product companies and service provider businesses can all join the program. Many of you are wondering what's new coming up in the Coral hardware. And now let me take this opportunity to announce a new product that's coming later this year. Are you ready? Introducing the new Coral DevBot Micro. This is a microcontroller class single board computer with a tiny form factor. Here's the actual product. As you can see, it's very tiny. It consumes very little power and it can be battery powered. This microcontroller offers the same level of machine learning acceleration performance as other Coral products. It uses the free RTOS real-time operating system with multi-thread support in applications. It supports the new TensorFlow Lite micro machine learning models. It has all the typical features of a single board computer, including onboard camera, Wi-Fi, and a connection to the accessory board to expand more functionalities. It uses the MXRT1176 crossover microcontrol unit with two cores to support both low power and high performance modes. In the low power mode, the M4 core can wake up by the machine learning model detection results. And the high performance mode will be able to run high performance machine learning inference with the M7 core and the Edge TPU. This new product will open a wider range of development opportunities for developers who need a tiny form factor and a battery powered machine learning capabilities at the edge. I hope you have now gained a new understanding of what Coral offers, and hopefully you're also inspired by the innovations other developers have done. Let me end my session with a simple call to action. Learn to use Coral and join this exciting new wave of innovation with AI at the edge. Here are more resources of learning and using Coral. Please feel free to reach out to our team for any questions. We look forward to working and partnering with you. Thank you again for joining this session. And I hope you will start your Coral journey today. Thank you.